I saw the announcement this week that the mask mandate in schools will be extended. It was originally October, then November, extended to January 15th. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, first, it didn't surprise me. Uh, I think we, at least all of us in the field, um, kind of saw that coming. I think it's a smart move, actually. Um, I think it's a way for us all to kind of catch our breath um, and, you know, let um, uh, let, the, let the cases resolve themselves, let the school year kind of get underway in, in, a, in a meaningful fashion, um, and also not uh, hold us hostage, if you will, to a month-by-month or week-by-week mandate. So I think it was a pretty thoughtful move by the commission at, uh, to push out to January 15th. From what I've seen, at least in North Attleboro schools and area schools as well, the numbers are declining. They, they certainly are. Yeah, we, we certainly had a few to start the year. Um, this week, I, I think we probably have maybe one or two um, all week. So it's a good trend. And it's again, that's not a surprising trend either. It looks like at the state and local levels, the cases, they spiked early, uh, kind of late in the summer, early in the school year, but they are on their way down. And again, that's we're hopeful that we can kind of move past this uh, sooner rather than later. For the people who don't believe in the mask and their children wearing masks, they hear one or two in the schools. I think it's important to note that when they track those cases, the students or the staff member did not contract coronavirus in school. It was outside of school. Yeah, two things on that. Uh, to, to your point, there's very little in-school transmission, really anywhere throughout the Commonwealth, and that includes last year as well. And people do attribute that to the to the wearing of masks. They seem to be effective. We also saw numbers of things like stomach bugs and the flu decline last year. And again, I'm not a scientist, but you you know some people do attribute it um, 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 to, to mask wearing. But I, I will say this: no one likes to wear masks, at least no one I know. So we're certainly sensitive to it. But the reality is, we think it work in, We think uh, we think they work in schools, uh, and our kids are doing just fine. Uh, there's been no issues uh, this school year, and we're really uh, we're really proud of our kids for just adapting to the environment that they're in right now. I'm sure you read that Hopkinton School Committee. Uh, was voting on whether or not to do away with the mask mandate for the students that are vaccinated because they have reached that 80% number. Do you think North Attleboro will ever reach that plateau? I hope so. You know, I mean, so one thing is we haven't collected the data yet. Um, I do expect either uh, by the end of this week or early next week to, uh, to push out a survey um, to, to families and staff, actually, to see if, to see if we're approaching or, or we've hit that 80%. At a minimum, we want the data, um, you know, and then, then we'll make a decision as to whether it, or not it's a right decision for North Attleboro to release the mandate. I'm hopeful we can do it, um, but so we, we have to track the data first. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. And that would be a school committee. That would be, I, I would say, yeah, it would be a school committee decision. And um, it would really only be at the high school, to be clear. Um, the math simply doesn't work uh, at, at the middle school uh, because we have sixth graders, uh, none of whom at this point were eligible for the vaccine. But right now it appears that the high school could be close.